back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out a new type of video for my channel. I'm going to be showing you how to create $5 crafts in 5 minutes. So I'm going to be using 5 items from Dollar Tree to create a craft and bring it to you guys. The crafts could cost you a little bit more because you might need glue, you might need nails, but it wouldn't cost you too much more. It just kind of depends on the supplies you end up using. But the main items for the craft are going to be $5 or less. So if you want to see videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like this. Today I'm going to be showing you how I created this shelf using five Dollar Tree products. And I love it so, so much. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not. And click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the video. So from Dollar Tree, you'll want to pick up three of their tabletop plaques. If you cannot find them at your local Dollar Tree, you can order them offline on DollarTree.com and you can get shipping to the store so it's free. To attach two of the wood plaques together, I am using this electric stapler. I talked about it in the last video I uploaded. I absolutely love it. If you do not have an electric stapler, I suggest using wood glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach this together with my electric stapler. I love it just because it's so easy to use. It makes DIYs really quick and it really keeps things together nicely. It's not going to fall apart on me. The nice thing about these tabletop plaques from Dollar Tree is they are very sturdy for what Dollar Tree normally carries. On the bottom of my shelf I put a lot of staples and then at the top I just put one staple on each end of the shelf. You can go ahead and paint over the staples if you use a staple gun like I did. I didn't just because I knew I was going to put stuff over that. Side note, nine times out of ten you're going to have a hard time taking off labels from Dollar Tree products. It's always a pain in the butt to get off. It's hard to come off and usually leaves a bunch of residue. To take these off I used Goo Gone that I got from Dollar Tree like a small little trial size. You can use soap and water but I really didn't want to wet this so I just ended up using the Goo Gone. It's easier and quicker to use Goo Gone anyway. I just put some Goo Gone on two paper towels and let that sit on top of the labels. Just let it soak it all in and then I slowly peeled off the labels and then just rubbed out the rest of the residue. So the third plan I decided to hammer a nail directly through the center of that plaque so that I could hang some greenery off of it. Now it's time to put the shelf together. From Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their metal brackets. I'm going to be using two of them. Now I am a renter. I don't really want to put holes inside of my wall so I'm going to be using command strips to put them to the wall but you can nail through this if you want to. Like I said, renter here so I decided to use command strips. I placed two command strips on each bracket so it wouldn't fall down on me and then I go ahead and I place them on top of the wall. I started off by putting up one bracket on the wall and then I try to place the shelf on that before I attach the second bracket to make sure the shelf is going to lie nice and flat. Okay you're going to have some options here. With that third plaque that I nailed a nail through you can either put that at the very bottom of the wall bracket or kind of loop it through where the loops are in that wall bracket. So if you decide to go the route of putting it at the very bottom of the brackets, you can add some of these hooks from Dollar Tree. They are garden hooks and there's two in a pack and they're longer and then you can put some mugs on that way. You can get multiple hooks to add more cups. I wish that the hooks were smaller. If they were smaller, I would have used them, but these are a little too long for me. So I took my third plaque and placed it through the hole that's at the top of my bracket. And then I put this little bucket that had greenery inside of it. So I got this three pack of white buckets from Dollar Tree. I took one of the buckets out and placed this greenery that I got from Ikea in it. And then I go ahead and take the handle of the bucket and place it on that nail that I put in. And then I put my coffee mugs hanging off of the metal brackets. And then go ahead and decorate the top of your shelf. And that's it for this quick and easy DIY and it really is quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, again, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more $5 or 5 minute crafts. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.